Upon release of the Starling, I received a question from a few people, notably Mr. Lizard. Uh, what's the difference between a shamisen built for Tsunaru style and a shamisen built for Minyo style? Excellent question. That really comes down to paradigms, as it were. Firstly, Minyo. I like to separate it into two types. Minyo just means folk song. And the first type is what I would call the roots music, the roots folk songs. It's very similar to Appalachian folk music learned in the oral tradition. I have friends in Japan who learned to sing folk songs from their parents, from their grandparents, and they weren't musicians. They were singing the songs that they learned from their parents, their grandparents. And it's all the fundamental reason for singing is expression and, you know, it helps make do with the hardships of life. And in this roots folk music, Mino, singing is the important, the primary thing. Uh, shamisen is just an accompaniment for it. So if you had this type, if you had this, if you had the smaller uh, classical naku to shamisen, it didn't matter. It was just to accompany yourself. How you sang didn't matter. It was you know, just singing from your heart. And then we have the formal style of minyo. Uh, this has specific choices to yield the aesthetic uh, desires for that style. Uh, notably, the koma is slightly taller and thinner than Tsugaru Jamisen. Ito, the strings are also thinner. Uh, skin, I believe is a little looser. The do is a bit smaller. Combined with all these factors, brings a more delicate, refined tone, uh, which is more desired for the Mino style. Uh, I would love to demonstrate, but I don't own most of these items. So if the same skin is put on, which it is, the same koma is used, same bachi is used, they're basically gonna sound pretty similar. This string thickness is different, but besides that, it's not gonna be a whole lot different. The accessories really are a big factor to changing the tone, um, but that's that. Uh, there's a similar story for Tsugaru Jamisen. So just like this, I like to kind of separate Tsugaru Jamisen into you know, two types. Uh, firstly, back in the early 1900s, there was no such thing as Tsugaru Jamisen as an instrument. All there was was Tsugaru Minyo, which is folk songs of northern Japan. Uh, and just like you know, the roots Minyo, Shamisen was also just an accompaniment instrument for the singers there. As you might have heard, the founders of the uh, Tsugaru style were all blind beggars in northern Japan, whose only source of income was playing music or giving massage. And just to be clear, this type of shamisen wasn't even a thing back in their day. And even if it was, the price is so much higher that they could never even afford it. They used any type of shamisen they had available. Often they kept the skin very loose because they couldn't afford to replace it if it ruptured. So if anybody tells you that you need this expensive, specific type of shamisen to play Tsugaru style, just tell them, I don't think so. Just like the Roots Minyo, Tsugaru Roots was very similar. Shamisen was an accompaniment. You played it with whatever shamisen you had. And only in the 1970s-ish did the Tsugaru Jamisen become an actual, you know, marketed, coined style and instrument. And just like the formal Minyo style, uh, specific koma and bachi are used to achieve that desired tone for that style. And although there is a more strict classical form of Tsugaru style, which has specific preferences on uh, type of koma, bachi, size, itomaki, and whatnot, it does tend to be more uh, improvisational. So, you know, there's room for creativity, as it were. But it is a bit more expensive. Uh, anywho, so yeah. In summary, what's the difference between these two shamisen? As instruments, not a whole lot. The sal is two millimeters thinner. Do is notably smaller than the futozal, uh, tsugaru jamisen. But um, if you have the same skin on, the same skin tension, the same koma, the same ito, same bachi, the tone is going to be very, very similar. Sure, smaller do will change the tone a little bit, but you know enough that you'd care? I don't know, it's up to you. However, it's the accessories you use that will change the tone. Gauge of strings, height of the koma, uh, material of the bachi, how you strike, 
play around with those and you will uh, get whatever tone you want, no matter what size of shamisen you have. And if you're pursuing a specific formal style, then you'll want to use certain you know, types of accessories. And if you're not pursuing a specific uh, style, then do whatever you like. I'm Kyle Abbott. Hope that makes sense. Note, a lot of misunderstandings can occur when connecting a specific style with the shamisen itself. It would be like describing a guitar and referring to the guitar as rock guitar, jazz guitar, you know. So to avoid that, I will more often prefer to refer to the instruments by futozao, chuzao, hosozao, thick neck, middle neck, thin neck, referring to just the instrument separating the style, and hopefully through that bring greater clarity. I did not do that this time, but it is morning and I did not have coffee yet.